Welcome back to JNY Cards, where we are going to be enjoying this amazing hobby together. Today, we're going to be opening up two boxes of 2022 Topps Chrome Update Sapphire Edition. I'm super excited because this product potentially has the ability, the potential, potentially has the potential to be one of the greatest products of the year. The set list the, is amazing. The autos in here are amazing. Let's compare it to last year's, though. Um, so last year it was 150 bucks. This year it is, I believe, 129 a box. And so last year the checklist I believe was only about was way less as well. I know that the checklist for this year is 330 cards. Last year's might have only been like maybe like a anywhere. I don't. Know, I don't want to quote anything here, but it was way less. Um, but as you can see, the odds for this year. To get a Super Fractor right here is 1 out of 598. For last year, getting a Super Fractor was 1 out of 5,881. But that's because last year, the the set list was way smaller. Um, at first, this product was super hot because of, of Kellenic and Jonathan India. But Kellenic has kind of suffered. Um, he has not produced well in um, the majors and um, Jonathan India this past year kind of had a down year. And so we're gonna open up these two mega boxes. Um, I've got a bunch of information on the side here. So feel free to check that out. Um, I wanted to say some things about this product too. Um, you know, I was really disappointed in tops and regular tops Chrome update. Um, the quality control in it was just horrible. I spent over 600 bucks on that product. I bought six megas and eight hangers, and it was just a complete waste, complete waste of money. Um, um, you know, and I didn't buy any regular Topps Chrome update um, because it was just, I thought it was a ripoff as well. Um, let me see. It was a, I think it was like 250 bucks for a box, and each box had 32 cards. So you're already paying twice the amount for regular Topps Chrome Sapphire compared to Topps Chrome Update Sapphire. And plus, the checklist for Topps Chrome was, I think, 660 cards, while the checklist for Topps Chrome Update Sapphire Edition is only. 330 cards. 330 is a lot of cards, but um, I'd rather take my odds with 330 than 660. Plus, the rookies in this product are amazing. So, I'm glad I didn't buy any Topps Chrome Sapphire, but I am glad that I was able to get my hands on uh, eight of these Topps Chrome Update. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely amazing. And I already got a color here too, I got a green. So we got MJ Melendez on the front. It's a little OC, but I think the print quality on this stuff is way better than other, than a Topps, regular Topps Chrome update. I'm gonna go from the back here. Ooh, very nice, because we, so we got a Reed, and we got an MJ Melendez. I'm gonna save that green for right here. Um, and you, we should get two color, uh, two number parallels in every box here. And I think all of the number parallels are number 99 or less. So we got Morales. Let me put MJ up there. Ooh, I am nervous. I'm like shaking. This stuff is just so beautiful. We got Jacques Peterson here. Very nice. And we got rookie combos of the Tigers. And we got Jaron Duran. Very nice. That's a debut, but I'll take it. So the print quality seems, it's not amazing, but it, it looks good enough. Looks better than Topps Chrome Update for sure. Ooh. Okay, here we go. We got Rymel Tapia. Boston Flex. That's a cool card. Oh yeah, very nice. I'm very happy about this next card as well. This is cool. If this gets a 10, I'd be so happy because these two guys are gonna be 
a fierce combo in baseball. And then we've got, not a rookie, but of Owen Miller. Yeah, so I got eight of these. I don't know how many I'm gonna, op how many I'm gonna open up. I might just open up these two and just hold on to the other six, but we'll see what happens here. Kenley Jansen, Cole Sulcer, Rich Hill, still pitching. We got a rookie, is that Cleveland? Gabriel Arias, not too bad. I was hoping it was Stephen Kwan, but I'll take Arias. Very cool. And a lot of these, and these are very warped as well, but I just got these right off the truck here. I literally was at home, saw the FedEx guy pull up, and he set it down, and as soon as he set it down, I opened up my door. So these are very cold cards, so maybe that's why they're a little more warped than normal. We've got Matt Duffy. Max Scherzer, that's nice. In the blue there. Ryan Tapera. Not a rookie. Oh, but it's a Kyle Schwarber. At least it's a good guy. I love Schwarber. All right, so. Oh man, this stuff's so beautiful. So absolutely beautiful. All right, we got Bryce Elder rookie card. Colin Moran. Ooh, this is sweet. This is very nice. Japan Legends reunite with Seiya Suzuki on it. We got another sideways card. And it's of uh, the Yard Estrada. Third baseman, I believe. Yeah, third baseman for the uh, Giants. All right. We got two more packs. We're still looking for that parallel. Our second parallel, we got Avasil Garcia. Travis Janikowski. And a rookie, but it's of uh, Alajiris Montero. It is a rookie, sorry about that. We got another rookie back here, ah, Kevin Smith. All right, so here's our last pack for the first Mega Box. We paid 129 for that. And these are currently, at the time of recording, reselling for um, about 220 bucks. So, ooh, we had a purple. All right, very nice. So we'll go from the back here. We got uh, Brad Hand, who's a pitcher. Steven Matz, who's a pitcher. And then we got a purple and a green. So let me see here. Purples are one out of 64 and greens are one out of nine. So let's look at the green one first. So the green must be out of 99. All right, not a rookie. All right, let's see if it's of a superstar. Looks like it's a pitcher, James Norwood. All right. Kings Norwood out of 75. All right. And then our purple here. Not a rookie. But hey, Max Scherzer. I'll take that. And yeah, of course, we got the Hunter Green on the front here as well. That's really cool. All right. So that's, uh, that's going to box number two here. Oh, man. That was 129 bucks. Could have been 220 bucks if I sold it on eBay. But you know what? I'm gonna rip them. We got Jesus Sanchez. And then we got Josh Nalmont. And we'll save this green for later. Marcus Stroman. All right, for the Cubby PC. I'll take that. So we'll put that green right there. Oh, man. Yeah, and there's no guaranteed autos in these boxes, too. So, oh, we got another MJ Melendez. Very nice with Bobby Witt. That one's cool. Um, and then we got our gold. So we'll save that gold for later. Behind the gold, we got Chad Green, and we got Josh Rojas. All right. Yeah, so I did buy Topps Chrome Updates um, Sapphire last year, but I didn't. I haven't opened up any of it. I sold the box, and then I have the other two just kind of sitting there. Um, Alemis Diaz. So this is my first time opening up any Sapphire. Matt Beatty, Jake Lamb. And Rob Refschneider. Very cool. I like Refschneider. All right, so let's keep going here. Not guaranteed an auto, but let's see. Oh my gosh, that one's getting in the corner a little bit. Let's open it from the other side. There we go. CJ Abrams. Oh, yes. 
Yes, please. Taylor Naquin. Dakota Hudson. And Nick Lodolo. That's not too bad. I'll take Lodolo. All right, so, so far, we got the Abrams and the Melendez. Let's see if we can get anything else here. Brandon Marsh debut. That's pretty decent. Take that. Jonathan VR. Amir Garrett. And Cesar Hernandez. Now right, we got three more packs here for this second box. Oh man. Should I just open up all eight of them? That sounds crazy to me though. Diego Castillo. Especially because I mainly open up retail. Michael Franco, wrong Franco. We were looking for Wander. Jose Cisnero. Ooh, Alec Thomas debut. That's nice. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll put them right here for now. Two more packs. And so, yeah, it does seem like you're consistently getting two colors. Um, people were kind of hoping maybe you get three. But, I mean, technically, according to the odds... Oh, very nice. Carlos Correa here on the front. According to the odds... Um, Probably should only be getting one, but then each, I mean, one parallel per per box, but each, but then Tops announced that you get two parallels per box. So I don't know. I don't feel like the odds really work out that well, but anyways, Carlos Correa, very nice. Uh, Dennison Lament, oh, very cool. Jeremy Payne, a debut. And Hunter Dozier, fan favorite. Okay, last pack, and then we'll check out what colors we got. Oh, man. You all should consider subscribing, too, because I forgot to mention this earlier, but if you subscribe, I like to give stuff, free stuff away. And um, once I hit 575 subs, I'm going to be giving away this um, blaster box of 2021 Archives Baseball. All you got to do is be a public subscriber, and you'll automatically be entered in to win. So let's check out our last pack here. Come on, let's get some good rookies here. Joey Wentz, rookie card. Matt Stram. Isaac Paredes. And Nick Lodolo debut. All right. I think Lodolo is a very good player. Now, oops, I accidentally put my Correa, my VR on top of my number of cards here. So let's go with the green first, because I believe green's out of 75. The rookie. Oh, I thought it was going to be Pena. But Joe Perez, that's okay. Perez has some potential as well. So, All right here's our gold. Right behind that, Melendez. It's a rookie. Nick <laughs> Lodolo again. What in the world? Well, like I was saying, Lodolo, I, he's... I think he's kind of overshadowed right now by um, Hunter Green. But man, if Lodolo and Green can become who we're all hoping they can become, uh, they are going to be a fierce combination. Uh, if you're one, two punch there in the NL Central. So, all right, so I'm gonna pull up some comps. There's probably no comps on this stuff, but I'm gonna try and um, I'll be right back, all right? All right, so I'm back. So I tried looking up some comps. Uh, keyword here is tried. I could not find many comps, if any at all, for this product here, because it's super brand new. But um, you know what? I, I feel like I'm kind of like 50-50 on this set, to be honest. Um, and I'll kind of tell you why. I thought the print quality would be better, but I ran into an issue with one of my boxes here. Um, let me see, is it this stack? No, it's this stack right here. Um, if you look right down here, let's see, all of these cards have like this weird edge issue. It's like right here and right here. I don't know if you can tell. You can kind of see it. It's like the roller is pushed way too hard here and here. You can kind of see it on right there. This one right there. Right here, you can really see it right there and there. There it is again, there and there. It's almost as if like these cards are so bowed right there, 
right there, right there and there, that um, when these cards were kind of going through the press, it, it like, it left that mark on them, which stinks because I got some, some okay cards. I got a lot of Lodolos. Um, and so I'm probably gonna send these all into tops as a claim. Um, and we'll see, uh, I'll do a video about that in the future too because I've got a bunch of cards from regular Topps Chrome update right here. This is a whole stack of cards that I'm gonna be sending in to Topps as well for claims. These are just like super all centered and um, uh, they've got dents and stuff all over them. So I'll do that in a future video. But yeah, like I said, I'm kind of 50-50 about this set. I was hoping it'd be much better. Um, but I got all those cards with those like two weird roller marks on them. And so I was kind of like, ah, shoot. Um, maybe we all need to be a little precautious with this product here. But, you know, we did get some nice cards overall. Um, you know, we got a Pena here, MJ Melendez. We got a MJ Melendez with Bobby Witt. That's really cool. I was hoping that like, that would be a grading candidate. CJ Abrams, Marsh. Hunter Green. Um, and then our colors here, we got uh, two greens. We got Joe Perez and uh, James Norwood. And we got this beautiful um, purple Max Scherzer. And out of all these cards, there were two grading candidates, right? And I'm really happy that this Lodolo, um, I think this is, a, this is a PSA 10 candidate. The only issue with this card was that the back top right corner was just not as sharp as the other corners. And then I'm really excited for this card. This card's gonna go into my PC. I think this is a solid 10 candidate. Now that Kraya is back with the twins, I'm gonna keep that in my PC. The only issue with this card was that there was that like a weird, two weird little marks on the back here. It's hard to tell, but they're, they're there. They're like just little small surface issues. Um, but yeah. I mean, I don't know uh, how, usually I kind of give you guys a running total of how much everything cost and how much I made, but um, there aren't any comps on this stuff yet. So I spent about 260 bucks on these two um, mega boxes of Sapphire. Um, I don't know what my value here is. I'm gonna guess, I don't know, 30, 60, 70, 75 maybe i don't know i don't know I'm at, uh, maybe a hundred dollars with the value here so uh i ended up losing money anyways but i mean hopefully tops will send me back something for all of these cards with the weird roller marks on the bottom here right there right there and i don't know We'll see what happens. So, um, but yeah, with this product overall, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I had high expectations for it, but I am having some quality control issues with it. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe before you head out. All you out there, please take care of yourself and I'll see you all in the next video.